what is going on guys it's your girl janiqua a and i'm back with another reading for you guys so we are going to pull an overall message from my ocean oracle deck and then we are going to clarify with my tara all right i'm hoping all you guys have an amazing weekend and i'm so happy to bring you this reading again if this reading starts resonating don't be afraid to like or um heart this video it really helps my channel grow so we're gonna see what is the overall message that your spirit guides desperately need you to know right now change direction with ease you guys are being um shifted in a new direction in life is what i see you guys are headed in a new path, something that you may find it very challenging to come to terms with. It's new. This is a time for change, shape-shifting, or your soul's evolution. It is a time to rediscover and reconsider what you are wanting in life. You may be in for a surprise. So what I'm sensing is that you guys have been um, shifted in a whole new direction by the divine and it may be an unfamiliar direction where you are being forced to adapt, right? You may feel like you are very different in um, your environment that you are being forced to um, shift into and it is a major, major change that is having you evaluate your soul's purpose you are being called and shifted and your soul is being pulled on to change a direction in life a more uncomfortable one but a more um path where it's more opportunities more change but more resources um a different environment but more possibilities for you to learn right and it may be uncomfortable but again change direction with ease don't don't resist it all right some of you guys may be resisting it and you are just you know just go with the flow mutual beneficial venture a lot of yellow solar plexus your creativity your willpower your sexuality your sensuality your, your how you um strengthen relationships right this card reads there is an ex extraordinary connection at the forefront of your life at this very moment. Utilize this relationship to benefit everyone concerned. So again, remember what I said? You are being shifted to a whole nother direction, to, to more resources and like-minded people, but you are uncomfortable with the environment right now because it's new. There's a mutual beneficial venture here whether you can collaborate and work whether you could collaborate and make new friends or whether you could collaborate and make a new soul family or a romantic connection but there's a mutual beneficial venture and there's an extraordinary connection at the forefront of your life right now you need to really be mindful and don't resist this change because the direction that you're going in it is aligning you with this mutual and beneficial venture. If you guys have been trying to look for a resource to finance your a business, this is the direction you need to go. If you are looking for someone to share your heart with and you're not being fulfilled, this is the direction you are being pushed into. If you are looking for something and somewhere that is more aligned with where you want to live, this is where you are being pushed into. But do not resist change because, honey, there's an extraordinary venture that is at your forefront right now in your current moment. And if utilized correctly, everyone is going to benefit, not only you. So this is a big move. Your next move right now is you're going to be your best move, all right? Three, what do you have for my collective? Ooh. So these two cards came out. You have the nine of swords and the two of wands. You are resisting change. 
Remember, change direction with ease. You are being pulled in another direction because there is a certain type of beneficial venture that is waiting for you that not only you can benefit, but others can benefit if utilized correctly, right? And it's extraordinary. This connection is at your forefront. And here you go, resist and change. The, the nine of swords is all about feeling restricted, all up in your head, overthinking, feeling overwhelmed, putting yourself in uh, a mental bondage for no reason. And the two of wands is seeing a way out, having a vision, seeing a new path, seeking out a different way of life, seeing um, that there's possibilities elsewhere. So this is spirit, again, saying change direction with ease because there's something that is waiting for you that is going to be beneficial in all aspects of your life, whether it's work, romantic, friendships, or family. You are going to grow because they are waiting for you. These people or places and things and environments are waiting for you. If you wanted to live alone and you wanted to just switch your environment, this is your house waiting for you. And here you go resisting because the two of wands is again your gateway to action, your gateway to a different path, your gateway to um, a more uh, passionate and uh, adventurous life. And here you go all up in your head trying to make trying to make it more more tougher than what it's supposed to be. And it clearly says collective change direction with ease. We know you may feel different. We know you may feel like the oddball. Because you are enlightened. You don't see how you're glowing. People need this energy around wherever you're being directed to. That's why you're going. Because they need you. All right? And if you were worried about money, if you were worried about expansion, if you were worried about love, if you were worried about security, affection, and safety... It's here. It's aligned. Everything is here. And it's extraordinary. Don't forget that. Mutual beneficial venture. And 31 reduces down to 4. So that's stability. Do not block your blessings or delay your blessings because you are scared. Or you are surrounded um, by the spirit of confusion. Or you are worried about leaving your old environment because friends, families, or connections. Take that leap of faith. Step into the light of different paths and different opportunities, collectives. You have it here. This is like a the green light, but Spirit is saying it's a whole different and uncomfortable place of, and direction where you're going and where you're being pulled to because it is needed. You have been doing the same things and being around the same environment and people way too long. It's time for growth. It's time for expansion. It's time for people transmuting and utilizing your abundant energy. You actually benefit and right and reaping rewards. You have the sun. When the sun is the brightest card and the most, you know, just abundant card out of the deck, when the when the sun comes out, no matter how bad your reading can be, which I'm just talking in general, the sun sh shines its light on every card. So right now, you are being directed and, and spirit is basically trying to confirm that the path you are being pushed into is bringing you sun. Light at the end of the tunnel, abundance, power, strength, character. You just have to be able to move in that direction with ease because this direction is abundant. You have the sun card, you have the two of wands, whatever path, you know, you are being guided to take right now with this two of wands is leading you to the sun. To expansion and growth at the highest form, emotional contentment, financial stability, support, collaborations, unions. You have the Five of Swords. All about. Not being afraid to make that decision and leave 
people and places and old environments behind. The Five of Swords um, is an energy of, you know, not caring who feels sad and, and sticking up for what they believe in, what they learned. Not, not standing down. Even if it means people are getting hurt. You are being shifted in a, in a different direction here that is very abundant, that is aligned, that you are going to meet your soul family. You're going to have so much support. You're going to be able to create financial stability and be more sufficient when it comes to um, independency. You're going to meet so many new friends. You're going to, if this is you um, being called to relocate, you're going to have the perfect people around you. You just need to be comfortable with going with the flow. Knowing that this is calling you to be different. This is calling you to shift in a whole new direction because you are needed elsewhere. You are meant to be serving a purpose. And that purpose is you discovering what else is out there. You guys been planted in the same thing, doing the same thing, involved with the same people way too long. There's other people's spirits saying you have the gateway. It's just not going to be comfortable because that's where growth comes in at. That's where character is built at. That's where self-confidence and self-discipline is mastered in situations that you must adapt to because it's unfamiliar. But at the end of that journey and that experience, the end result is connections, collaboration, support, financial stability, leadership, mental peace, the sun. Alignment. Don't resist. This is you at the end of your journey. And once you go through this process and you really fall through with it and really welcome in change and really, you know, be open to meeting new people and spirit is just going to start aligning um, others in your life that is more um, fulfilled with, the higher, with your higher purpose. It's going to feel great. You're just being asked to trust your intuition when it comes to this path because this path seems like it may be a little dark you might not know the end results but baby spirit is working in the background all right you have fire guardian ignite your passion the spirit of fire is being a guardian to you you might be a, a fire sign or have someone in the spirit realm that is being your guardian, your, your guardian angel that is watching over you, that is calling you to proceed with your passion. You hold a lot of power in your hands. You may be someone that, has, that is seeking out a career and, and utilizing your hands, hairdressing, making wigs, doing nails, making clothes, designing. Being a stylist, taking photos, creating websites. But this is you being at service to others because you're passionate about it. And once you're passionate about something, money comes, right? And opportunities are presenting themselves. You're, you have the key to Pandora's, uh, Pandora's box. You have endless and infinite possibilities, right? But you have to proceed with what it is that you are being guided to do and being and being shifted. Okay, this is you having and feeling safe with your guardian angels being around you and giving you that fiery energy, that that sensuality, that sexuality, that strength, that power. 
but also that creativeness because you hold something very powerful in your hands, right? That people need, people need this. People need this energy. And you afraid um, of change. The moon, take note of intuitive messages. Spirit is trying to communicate with you through synchronicities, through different animal spirits, feathers on the floor. If you see feathers, coins on the floor, coins signifies ancestors, your ancestors around where you find money and pennies. Your spirit is God's are trying to get in touch with you. And the reason being is because you hold a lot of power in your hands and it needs to be worked on. It needs to be creative. It needs to be utilized and mastered, right? Because there's a mutual beneficial venture that is waiting for you. That is extraordinary. And if utilized right, everyone is going to benefit from this decision that you are making and choosing to shift it. Change direction with ease. Don't force nothing. Everything that's going on around you and within you is for you. It's for your benefit. There is a time for change, shape-shifting, and your soul's evaluation. You guys are in a surrounding, in an environment where you don't fit in no more. You have outgrown. You are different. It is a time to reconsider what you are wanting. You may be in for a big surprise because what you're wanting is probably not even half of what spirit got in store, which in store for you. As long as you make this change with ease and realize and don't miss out on this opportunity of this mutual and beneficial partnership and venture. Okay? That's what I have for you. I love you guys.